Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai seems to be settling well into its role as the company's primary export hub for electric cars. However, in order to continue being one of the most popular manufacturers of electric powertrains and vehicles for both the local market and foreign countries, Tesla China would have to ensure that it gets access to a very large supply of parts, which would enable the facility to assemble and deliver electric cars with minimal interruptions. Having said that, it was pertinent for the electric automaker to increase the localization of materials for the made-in-China Model Y and Model X vehicles. Interestingly enough, Tesla's in the process of achieving a 90% localization rate in Giga Shanghai by the end of the year. The $25,000 Tesla hatchback is the automaker's most affordable car. Dubbed Tesla Model 2, it is expected to be produced in insane numbers the company has never managed to achieve before. The compact hatchback is set to compete in a market segment where affordability is preferred over performance specs and features. It would take a strong supply chain and some serious volume production strategies to make the upcoming $25,000 Tesla car as profitable as its siblings like Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3. In fact, Recent reports from China suggest that Tesla's electric car is inching closer to its production timeline. Earlier this month, Tesla confirmed that its R&D center is about to become operational. This came just a few days after a trusted Chinese auto blogger said that the $25,000 Tesla car prototype had already been completed. And earlier this year, Chinese media outlets have also announced that the company's environmental impact assessment for the upcoming vehicle is already underway and that the first prototypes of the budget-friendly car would likely be subjected to tests in the second half of 2021. If the information shared is true, the new electric car is a game-changer. The automakers being able to produce a $25,000 Tesla electric car in mass volume in 2022 would undeniably be disruptive in the EV industry. In order to achieve that price target, Tesla will have to significantly ramp up 4680 battery cell production along with a structural battery pack platform. Besides Tesla China exploring plans to increase the localization rate in Giga Shanghai, the company is also currently on a hiring spree with a focus on the PR and legal affairs teams, according to job listings on the company's official WeChat account. Tesla seems to be expanding its foreign affairs team, human resources, and legal affairs workforce in several cities and locations in the country, including Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Nanjing, and Guangzhou. As for human resources and legal affairs, Tesla China is hiring professionals, all located in Shanghai. These two job listings are very telling. Similar to U.S. headquarter Tesla, the electric automaker has in the past faced a dozen false accusations, rumors, reports, and government scrutiny over the safety of the cars and customer service complaints. Earlier this year, the electric car maker had to handle a barrage of social media posts, many of which claimed alleged malfunctioning brakes incidents in the company's cars. Later, some of the same social media influencers and regulators admitted to reporting false brake failure incidents just for cloud chasing. The recent job advertisement for Tesla Giga Shanghai shows a different approach to the fear, uncertainty and doubt that the automaker has become well familiar with over the past several years. The company seems to be taking a somewhat opposite approach compared to fear, uncertainty and doubt by beefing up its PR and legal affairs teams that could control and deal with plenty of miscommunication regarding Tesla's plans for its international factories. Whereas Tesla's communications team in the United States practically does not exist, making it impossible for the car maker to explain its own vision or share insights with potential customers and investors. Tesla's boss Elon Musk has been adamant about not relying on PR to counter the FUD spreading about the company. The CEO believes in citizen journalism, which has led to the growth of many websites or blogs about Tesla, managed by individuals who believe in the automaker's mission and seek to debunk the FUD about it. Despite Tesla China's having been a subject of the false narrative in the past few months, Giga Shanghai remains to be one of Tesla's biggest advantages in the rapidly growing EV market there. In China, where battery electric cars are becoming widely adopted, 
the EV manufacturer remains the most successful automaker in the region, thanks to the ever-growing demand for the Tesla Model Y and Model 3. While Tesla is still facing competition from other budget and economical cars like the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV, Tesla is still a sure bet when it comes to all-electric luxury crossovers and mid-size sedans. Meanwhile, it's a big win for Tesla's Giga Berlin after one of the main critics, Brandenburg Nature Protection Association, decided to drop its lawsuit challenging a provisional building permit, which was granted recently by the Berlin-Brandenburg Higher Administrative Court. Earlier this month, the Brandenburg Nature Protection Association and the Green League's latest complaint of Gigafactory Berlin was effectively shot down by the Berlin-Brandenburg Higher Administrative Court. The two organizations had taken issue with the fact that the electric automaker was granted the green light to proceed with limited tests of Gigafactory Berlin's production equipment. After the case was determined in favor of Tesla, the two environmental associations strongly opposed the ruling, vowing to pursue the lawsuit further in the Federal Constitutional Court. The Environmental Rights Appeal Act states that admissibility of an urgent motion requires the association to assert that it has been affected in its statutory area of responsibility. This implies that the Brandenburg Nature Protection Association and Green League's urgent motion was inadmissible. Recently, Brandenburg Nature Protection Association decided to pull out of the case, citing high legal fees and minimal chances of success. Considering that most environmental groups have limited financial opportunities, it won't be a surprise if the Green League decides to pull out from the case as well. Brandenburg Nature Protection Association's decision supports the idea that opposition against Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin is at a steady decline. So far, the Brandenburg State Office for the Environment has received only 44 objections against the latest plans for Giga Berlin. These objections were raised against the facility as a response to the renewal of the public display of Giga Berlin's plans. While 44 may not sound substantial, it hints that communities around the facility have started to realize the environmental and economic benefits of Giga Berlin. In addition to creating a substantial number of employment opportunities, the plant is expected to accelerate the adoption of EVs and help fighting the global climate change. Tesla's EVs have so far prevented over 17.5 million tons of carbon dioxide from entering the Earth's atmosphere. What's ironic is that some environmental associations in Germany are still against Tesla Giga Berlin, claiming that the production of cars will lead to some poisonous gases escaping from the facility. The Giga Berlin is pivotal to the automaker's plans for the EV market in Europe, with the plant scheduled to kick off its operations with the production of the Model Y, the company's best-selling crossover to date. Tesla is also expected to produce its 4680 battery cells at the facility, a move that would greatly boost the company's supply chain. However, the first 4680 battery cells that will be installed into Giga Berlin manufactured electric cars will come from Northern California. The upcoming Tesla's $25,000 electric car is also expected to use these types of structural battery cells. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.